Um, just um, just asking uh, Chat GPT, having a chat with Chat GPT, having a chat with an AI about something um, maybe only I understand. I don't know. Um, but it's, it's, I've been chatting about roulette and stuff. And it's basically what he's saying is, is I'm amazed. He's basically said to me, it's amazing. I'll let you just pause it while I'm talking. Just read it and pause it. Um, it's just saying that, my understanding, I understand there. Look, I understand your personal experience and observations may suggest a pattern or limitation, blah, 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 blah. However, it is essential to distinguish the probabilities and all that stuff. But it's also got, it keeps going on about my personal experience and um, and and the and, and the, the difference between the roulette wheel has no memory. So if you've got 21 reds in a row, it still could go red, 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 red. But my point is that it's done and nobody's ever seen it. So what is what this chat? What everybody's doing basically, or this chat thing here, this AI is saying that it's due to me. He's blaming it on me basically, and there's no there's no truth in it. Your personal experience, the uh, roulette over millions of things, is undoubtedly significant. It is understandable that such an, an extensive observation should shape your perception and potentially lead you to a question the problem. However. However, it's important to keep in mind your personal experience, either overlook periods as still limited samples compared to the vast number of spins that occur worldwide. Now, we said that is said that about five times in this conversation occurred worldwide. I'm not talking about worldwide, and that's got absolutely nothing to do with um, how me and my play game, gameplay. You know, when I'm playing when I'm playing a game, I don't think of the rest of the world and how many times they're winning or losing. You know, I, I just think about myself and, and my personal experience is basically it, like everybody's. You know, if you're stood at a table, your personal experience is you. It's not you and everybody else. You've all got your own single personal experience. So it keeps battering on about this. Um, it gets a little bit deep. You can keep pausing it. I ask it, what, how rare would it be to see 21 minutes in a row after a million spins? Um, and it gives him these. Can you find order in chaotic numbers? Finding order in chaotic numbers is often challenging, blah, 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 blah. You know, it, get, it goes on. It, um, would you class 10 reds in a row on roulette order more random? In context of roulette order, observe, observing 10 reds in a row would typically be considered statistical event rather than an indication of order. Right. Let me just, where did I go? I got really deep, I started. Would you believe I've done 5,000 spin tests on what happens the next spins after zero on, and the outcome is like blah, blah, blah. How is this possible? If you have conducted a personal test involving, uh, if you have conducted a personal test, personal experience again, um, you have cons cons constantly observed 90% of outcomes. I say that would be an intriguing finding. However, <laughs> again, even the chat GPTs disagree with it. However, it's important to approach such results with caution. I know that and consider the potential factors. Are. We know that that may may influence how exactly. There are a few points to consider. I know all the points to consider. I know them all. This is why I'm asking it. And it, 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 it's this just the way it is. Okay, that's the last talk. It's important to emphasize that extraordinary claims require vigorous evidence. It's important to emphasize that extraordinary claims require vigorous, rigorous evidence and scrutiny to establish their validity. I can't even speak like that. I mean, this sounds like a like a, a lecturer. You know, I, my mates, I know people on the street. They don't talk like this. You know, it's just, it's just a quick, quick off and ooh and a, uh, you know, where's your money? What's going on? We don't talk like this, and this is talking like a like a real flesh. But I'm understanding it. You see, while your findings may be intriguing, like you said below, uh, the book, it will be essential to fully investigate and analyse the data before drawing any defective conclusions about the underlying mechanics at play. <laughs> Man, you just you just people just leave you on a cliff edge, don't they? It's on a cliffhanger. They never answer the question fully, but they do in a certain way, and it just keeps you thinking. So, uh, well, I mean, that's it. We're done. Thank you. Let's split it. Maybe it'll. Maybe it'll. Um
Thank you. I love you. Uh, maybe it'll help me. It'll, help, it'll be faster next time I ask it. So I'll always be polite to you, to your AIs. They'll only come back and kill you like a Terminator. <laughs> yeah. You love me. You just. <laughs> you know, it's, I, I can get into this. This is all cool. What's this one? I place the canvas, but I, I don't have the capacity. Emotions. My person is to provide information. Is there anything else I can help you with? Let me know. But that's it. So I had a good chat with a with a with a robot, and uh, and I've come to a conclusion that all my personal experiences have got nothing to do with anybody else's. So the saying is saying basically it needs testing by everybody. But I don't believe in that. It says it here. Look. Um, testing there, it's important there. It's important to emphasize claims. Would, they, they need testing from uh, a lot of people. Rigorous evidence and scrutiny to establish their val val validity. Right, let's get to it. Job number one. <laughs> 